Hello everybody, my name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mac channel where I am documenting my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent. On this channel, I discuss everything pertaining to a debt-free journey, budgeting, sinking funds, savings, building wealth, paying off debts, as a married woman paying debts alone. If you are interested in following my journey, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the like, um, the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you're new and you're a viewer, not yet a subscriber, please make sure you subscribe should you be interested as I would really appreciate it to get to 1,000 subscribers in the near future. Also, if you have not checked out my giveaway video, I will um, link it over here in the corner so that you do not miss out the opportunity to um, enter my giveaway that is supposed to end on the 28th and will be announced in my debt-free journey update at the beginning of March. So now that we have gotten all of that out of the way, I will be st stuffing my sinking funds. So let's get right into it. So as you are aware, my sinking funds for this year are very slight. Um, I do have a massive um, 2021 money plan or financial goals and the priority, the focus as of now is to eliminate the interest that is accruing on my student loans so that um, when I, once the payments do start back, I am able to, and I'm able to pay more money. The, a lot of that is going towards the principal and not the accrued interest that is lingering on my student loans. Just a brief recap, I have $125,000 worth of student loans, but my student loan debt total is currently sitting at $138,000 with um, about $13,000, a little, a lot over $13,000 of accrued interest. So right now I am trying to pay that interest off by the time payments pick up. And for me, that is October 15th because the forbearance ends September 30th. So I am only stuffing um, what I have determined to be the most important sinking fund accounts. Two of those accounts are not um, stuffed physically because they are currently in online savings accounts. One of them is a Christmas sinking fund. $100 goes towards that sinking fund monthly, which equates to $50 bi-monthly or per pay period. And that is reflected in my budget video. And then $135, which is now 15%. Last year, I contributed 10% of my um, 1099 income, which is a flat rate of $900 twice a month or $1,800 monthly. So now um, $135 comes out of that $900, $1099 income and goes straight into um, a savings account. And this year I will be paying my taxes quarterly instead of waiting to the end of the year. So those two accounts you do not see getting stuffed on the regular. The three accounts, they were two at one time, but the three accounts now that I am stuffing is a travel sinking funds. That is because I do have a couple's trip coming up in July to the Virgin Islands. Even, and I am planning on saving about $2,000 to cover all of those expenses and give us about 700, a little more, hopefully, um, to be able to enjoy ourselves in, while in the Virgin Islands. Then there is a car fund because I usually have to buy tires annually. And there are three cars that we'll have to get. We have four cars total, but there are three cars that will have to get tired. Recently added another one, which is the medical. And that is because um, here I'm actually behind. But at the first of the year, I'm sure like many other people, um, we start going doing a lot of doctor's appointments. I made sure to send my children to the dentist, um, eye exams, checkups everything that would usually come up that is really not 
you know, we just deal with it as we get it. But if you have been following my journey, you know that I was really over my full-time job as an on-call social worker and I was looking into another um, job. And so trying to make sure that their medical needs were addressed before I switched insurances was a priority for me. And so I have been cash flowing most of their appointments, but anything for like medications or copays that I was not aware of or when I thought they got cope, they had a certain copay, but now there's a bill. I have started to um, attribute ten dollars. It's not a lot, but it will offset some of those surprise expenses. So we'll get right into it for this cash stuffing, um, not cash stuffing, stinking funds stuffing. I am stuffing two hundred and sixty dollars, and so we will get right into it. Um, the car fund. <laughs> is very slight as you can see and that is because I think I discussed it in my last video but as soon as my husband knows that there is money in these accounts he starts to instead of so like I said I want to stuff this for um tires he's like oh there's $120 now you can get your brakes done and get your rotors and while I do need brakes and rotors or at least I thought I needed brakes and rotors because it was squilling so bad um I didn't want to take it out of this sinking fund so um that is why it is very slight and I think I'm gonna have to put this in a different location so that he will not see what is in here so as you can see, there is only 200, I mean $120, but it should be sitting at like 260 by this point, but you know, it's not. Then for travel, I do $150. So this is one and 50. And so we will count how much is in here. So that is 100, 200. 300, 400, 50, 70, 90, what is that, 400, 500, and then 20, 40, 60, 81, that's 600, 20, 40, 60, 82, that is 700, and then 30. So, I'm going to count that again, just make sure that is correct, 100. 200, 300, 400, that is 500, 20, 40, 60, 81, that is 600, 20, 40, 60, 82, that is 700 and 730. So um, at the point that we get to, um, at the point that we're able to buy our plane tickets, I'm going to go ahead and take that out of here. And so it will go down drastically um, at that point. Right now, I want to be able to buy our tickets together. And so um, I'm waiting until I have, I think, about $900 right now. The tickets to the Virgin Islands are running about $491. But I do have, I have Hopper and I get those notifications. So the last notification I got was that they were $491, but to wait because they predicted lower prices. And so when I actually do get those tickets, I am going to put them at, on my travel rewards credit card, which is my Amex, um, my Hilton American Express card. But then I want to have the money, like the full amount to pay that card right back off. And so I am waiting until this gets to at least $700, I mean $1,000 before I start shopping for the tickets. Also, I will probably purchase um, the couple that we're going with their tickets. I'll either purchase them on that card, the Amex um, Hilton card, or my, I think it's, um, I think it's my city card because I earn American Express rewards for that card but I'm not sure um but either way when I do that I will make I will be purchasing those tickets on a credit card just to earn the points but I want to make sure that I have the money and that they refund me the money immediately so that I can put it back on the card and then that leaves ten dollars for my medical sinking fund 
Um, ten dollars was chosen because you know our prescriptions are usually ten dollars with my insurance, but it's also because um, really at this point the only thing that's left my my son is getting braces on March the second. My daughter has two more dental appointments that I am cash flowing. I'm also cash flowing his braces. So $875 has to be paid on the second. $300 had to be paid, but $230 of that was refunded. That $230 went towards the $875 that he has to have on the second. And then I'm not sure, not quite sure what the remaining balance is, but I think the total balance was about $3,100. So, but that included the three hundred dollars, the eight seventy five, and then whatever else I have to pay on um, after the eight seventy five. So, um, I'm currently in the middle of. I will be cash flowing that. Um, maybe not immediately. She will. She does set up payments of one seventy five per month. But um, I'm thinking once I start my second job, in the midst of starting my second job and having um in the midst of starting my daytime job and having my last paycheck including all my vacation come from my full-time job now i'm thinking i'll be able to pay that balance off as well as make a substantial payment on my student loans for that month so that is it for my sinking funds like i said they are very light slight um, but they are a priority for me at this time. Once we do take our trip, we will continue to stuff our travel envelope because if you know me, travel is one of the things I am not willing to give up while I'm on this journey. That is it for my sinking funds. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you are interested in following my journey as I eliminate debt as a married woman paying debt alone, please make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. If you have not already checked out my giveaway, I again will post it again over in the corner over here somewhere so that you can check that out and enter into the giveaway. That will be closing February the 28th and announced at the beginning of March. Thank you so very much for clicking on this video and do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey, not a destination.